Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial for Photoshop. And in this tutorial, we'll be creating a simple poster design using some PNG assets. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, check on the description list below and download all the materials that I'm using in this tutorial. So with that note, let's jump with the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new. And from here, I will just go for 1000 over 1080 uh, size and make the resolution as 300 and change the color more to RGB, bitrate to 16 and just keep the rest as default and let's click on create. I'll just turn off these guides for now. So for that, go to view, go to show and then let's turn these guides off. And first thing first, let's drag the main PNG or main image over here. And I'm really sorry guys, I don't know who is the artist for this uh, 3D dragon um, character. Uh, really shout out to this artist. That's an awesome art. And yep, so let's keep this image over here. And let's uh, drag and drop another PNG. That's the cloud image over here. And let's keep it to the very bottom. Let's keep it as a background. Right click, convert it as a smart object. And even for layer one too, that's a dragon image. It's always better to convert it as a smart object before you do any transform things. So I'll just convert it as a smart object now. And let's drag and drop another image over here. All right, and let's convert it as a smart object too. Now let's do some uh, transform adjustments. Let's make the layer three a little smaller. Control T, let's make it around maybe like this size. All right, Control T, let's maybe a, a little smaller and let's move it to somewhere over here. Control T, let's make the background way bigger, something like that. And let's click the layer one and let's create a layer max. And go to the brush and let's go for a general brush. And let's uh, erase that uh, hard edges over here. And just to make sure that the color is black, let's erase those parts. Yep, something, something like that. But on these parts, we're gonna do some adjustment later. So just keep it like that for now. And let's create another layer. Go to the brush again. And this time I will go for my favorite brush. So this is the brush that uh, the powder explosion brush. And if you wanna download the same brush, check on the description list below. So go over here. And let's change the color to maybe like darker color, something like that. And let's add some over here. Some over here too. All right, let's go to the eraser tool. Let's erase some of these parts back. All right, now let's create a one more layer. Go to the brush again. And using the same brush, let's change the color maybe a more darker or not let's go for a little lighter and let's add one some strokes over here all right something like that and now let's go over here go to the brush again and let's go for general brush general brush and let's Erase some of these parts just to reveal our sky part over here. Yep. Yep. Like something like that. Now let's go over here. Let's drag this PNG over here too. And let's keep it under this layer. Control T before doing that let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's do some adjustment let's make it a little bigger okay. well, let's keep it under this layer 
and let's make another copy control J control T Maybe let's keep it like that let's just start it from here now let's make a one more copy control J control T and let's move it maybe like maybe somewhere around here all right now let's create a layer max go to the brush and let's go for the explosion brush and again if you want to download the same brush pack check on the description list below so let's go for yep maybe let's see let's try some another one yeah maybe let's go with this one and make sure the color is black let's Yep, let's do some rotation now let's go over here create a new layer and go to the brush and this time I will just go for this brush and let's do some rotation maybe something like that or maybe a little more yep and let's add some particles over here Let's create a one more layer and let's go somewhere over here. And now let's go over here, create a one more layer. Let's keep it all the way to the top and let's add some particles on this side too. create a one more layer let's change the color to a little lighter color and using the same brush I'll just add a particle right over here all right and then same thing let's go over here create a new layer and add a rotation and let's add some particles right over here and don't worry about that hard edges so we're gonna delete this one so yep something like that now let's create a layer max go to the brush and let's get rid of this small hard line over here so, yep something like that now let's do some color adjustment so select this layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity increase the shadows drop down the highlights and maybe let's drop down the vibrance somewhere around here now let's click on ok oh, yep and now let's do the same thing for the this layer so select this layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity increase the texture drop down the highlights increase the shadows drop down the vibrance and let's go to the detail tab and for this one let's increase the color noise reduction noise reduction and color noise reduction and let's increase the sharpening just a little touch and let's click ok now let's apply a color LUT so so before that let's uh, drag and drop this clock image over here too let's see how it looks um, I think it, it, it's it's looking pretty okay maybe let's keep it right over here yep control t yep let's do some rotation yep something like that and what else we can add maybe let's keep it like that and now let's add a color let's go over here add a color let and click on load so I'm going to use my cine alert so select this one click on load now let's add a color balance let's increase the red yep let's go for kind of this look 
Now let's add a new layer. Go to edit, go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and let's change it to soft light and let's do some dozen burn. So go over here, add a burn. So I would like to add some burns right over here. Maybe some over here too. Maybe write some over here too. And let's add some duds too. So go over here, add a color dodge. So let's add a dodge right over here. Maybe some over here too. All right, now let's go over here and let's add a new layer. Go to the brush and yep, I'm using uh, this explosion brush again and let's go for a kind of yellow stone. Let's go for this color. Yep, let's add somewhere over here. And let's change the color overlay. Let's make it a more yellow stone. Yep, something like that. Now let's go all the way to the top. And let's add a new layer and let's add the same thing. And let's add a color overlay. Yep, let's go for maybe like more yellow stone. Yep, something like that. So let's merge this layer. Control Shift Alt and E. Let's go to the filter. Let's go to the camera raw filter. And let's do some basic adjustment. Let's increase the exposure just a little touch. Uh, drop down the highlights and increase the clarity, increase the texture and maybe drop down, let's keep it like more, let's increase the vibrance and let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the noise reduction, yep, somewhere around here, should be good and let's go to the color mixer tab and let's drop down the blues saturation for blue yep so somewhere around here let's click on ok now let's make a one more copy Control j go to the filter and let's apply a neural filter and let's go to the style transfer let's click that on and let's go for let's go for this one select this one and from here let's click on focus object and let's click ok and now from here let's change it to maybe soft light looks good maybe let's drop down the opacity just a little touch and let's go over here create a layer max go to the brush and let's go for a general brush and let's I don't want those parts I want those parts to be clear yep. and let's drop down the opacity a little more and let's add some text so that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video so hope you guys love this tutorial and see you guys in the next video